In today's video, I'm gonna share how I sell clothes online, how I list items onto Poshmark, how I cross list them over onto eBay, what my process is. At this point, I have listed over 1,700 items on Poshmark over the course of like four years. So I have a process down that works for me and there honestly are so many different ways to list on Poshmark, but this is just my method, my way of doing it, and hopefully you find this helpful in one way or another. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. I'm just gonna do probably like three listings on Poshmark and then cross list them over onto eBay. So something that I have gotten questions on in the past is how I remove the background on my cover photo and how I add a shadow versus just having it look flat against a white background. So first I'm gonna show you how I do that here on Canva. So this is Canva Pro and I do pay for this. There is a free version but you cannot remove the background on the free version. But there are other free apps that you can remove the background. So this is just what I use because I already use it for my YouTube thumbnails and a few other things. So I just, if you do have the pro version or you just wanna see an example of how I do it, even if you do it on another app, that is perfectly fine, but it's pretty easy. I just select a photo, hit edit image, BG remover, it's the background remover. It just makes it a flat white background. And then to kind of make it pop a little more, I do like to add a shadow right down here. And then I hit drop and then see it just adds that shadow in the background and that is it. And then I just save this as a PNG and add it as my cover photo. So very simple. If you know any free background remover and shadow adder apps or websites, Please leave them in the comments for anybody who wants a free version, which is more than understandable. So that is how I remove the background for the cover photo. And then when it comes to listing on Poshmark, if you have ever watched one of my videos where I share my spreadsheet, that is the sole way that I stay organized with my inventory. So I will be referring to my spreadsheet here. This is where I list every single item or I, I guess, mark, write down, add every single item that I bring home from the thrift store, from the bins, wherever I get the items, sometimes from my personal closet, if it's something I don't wear anymore or just want to get rid of, then I do add it into my spreadsheet just to keep everything really organized. So before I even list the items on Poshmark, I do go in and save all my drafts. So once I photograph a haul, say I come home from the bins with 15 items, I will first log everything onto my spreadsheet, write you know a quick product description, write my cost of good, the date I purchased it, and then I will photograph everything, take measurements, remove the background on all my cover photos, and then add in everything onto Poshmark and save it as a draft. I have had somebody ask before how I save these as drafts. So it's very simple, I just basically go in like I'm making a new listing. So I would just add the photos in here and then go down to the very bottom and hit cancel. And then right here, hit save draft. So that's how I save every single draft, essentially. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, please let me know and I will try to clarify. But so then all these are saved as drafts. For each of these, the template I use is just something I created on a Google Doc. So that is what I refer to when I create all the drafts and I just copy and paste into each of the drafts. So for the pants, this is already in here, everything I'll need. So next thing I do is basically just one at a time, start populating the you know listing sheet here. So here on Poshmark is, you know, you need the title, the description, the category, size, brand, color of the item, style tags if you'd like to add those, and the price you're going to list it at. So this is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied corduroy pants. And since everything is already in my spreadsheet, it's pretty simple for me to just come over here and copy the title. So I do have a little too much going on in here. So there's that. And then usually I will just take the title again, put it in here and then just kind of condense it a little bit or switch some things around. So for this, I do want to say the Moto Stevie ankle since that is the style, but instead of having all of that, I am just going to 
Shorten it a little bit. Adriano Goldschmidt Moto Stevie Ankle Corduroy Pants. Color is black. The size is 27 regular. If I have room in the title, I'll usually put the color and then the size, but since this does have a lot of keywords already, I'm just going to skip having that in the title since I kind of ran out of characters there. So size 27. Then when it comes to the description, basically just going to refer to the pictures, refer to my measurements to, you know, share whether it's low rise, mid rise or high rise. The leg, the way it's cut really counts. So if it's a boot cut leg, skinny leg, uh, wide leg, anything like that. So I'm just going to start coming up with the description. So I guess for this one, let's see. And I do have all of my measurements written down. Typically I will refer to my pictures on my phone, but I am recording on my phone. So I did write down my measurements here. So this is a seven inch rise, which is a low rise. They are a slim straight leg. I could put corduroy again, but I do have that right here. So I'm probably just going to skip that. They are a zip fly and I am kind of OCD and like when things kind of look nice. So sometimes I, I'll put the shorter words up at the top and then as it goes down, they get bigger and that's just such a weird preference thing, but that is something that I do. And then they have got some zippered pockets on it, so I'll say zippered pockets. All right, and then typically I will include the materials and the care in here, um, but I did forget to write those down and they're on my phone, which I'm recording on. So I'm going to actually leave that out for now. I can go back and add those in, but typically I'll put in the material. So if it's like 95% cotton, 5% elastane, machine wash cold, tumble dry low, things like that with the materials and the care. But I forgot about that part, so it's not a big deal. Um, for the waist for these, it's 14 inches flat across. I do take my measurements just laying flat so I don't have a mannequin where I can use a full, you know, measure around the waist kind of thing. So I just say flat across. The rise is seven inches and then the inseam is 27 inches. Let me know if you guys include the measurements when you list on uh, resale sites. I'm curious to hear, but I do think it's very helpful in allowing the buyer to decide pretty quickly if it'll fit them, if it's something they want. As far as the condition, unless there are any flaws or pilling or things like that, I pretty standard across the board just say in good pre-owned condition. Even if it's in phenomenal condition, I still just say good pre-owned condition. Um, but if it is new with tags, I'll say new with tags. If it's new without tags, um, otherwise it's good in good pre-owned condition. And then if there are any flaws, marks, stains, holes, I will of course include that as well. For the category women's jeans, or would we say pants? Hmm. I guess, ooh, this one's tough. <laughs> Because they're not jeans. I, I'm going to say pants. I said corduroy pants. And they are a slim straight leg. So I'll put straight leg. The size is size 27. The brand Adriano Goldschmidt. The color is black. And then for price, for the original price, I always put zero. And for the listing price, I kind of refer to this sometimes. I'll at least sort of just see uh, what it says, but a lot of times I'll go over to Poshmark or eBay and check the comps and see what people have it listed at, what people are selling it at, and kind of go from there. Oh, here's the exact same pair right here. Those are listed at 39. So let's check the solds.
All right, and it looks like there's only one of the exact items sold. Oh, this one right here too. So this one sold for 21, this one sold for 32. The other one was listed at 39. So I think I'm gonna list mine at 38 and expect probably right around $30 for it. 25 to $30 would be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna put $38 here and then list that. And then right over here, back on the spreadsheet, the status is listed. I have this kind of key here. So yellow means it's been listed. And then I'll put the date, so September 4th, $38. Alrighty, and then back to my OCD self, I will hit ascending for the listed. And so it's all in order here. All right, and then now that it's on Poshmark, I'm going to put it onto eBay in a very easy way. I cross-listed over using Flip. So I use PrimeLister for Poshmark automation, sharing my closet, sending out offers, relisting items, and I love everything I can do on PrimeLister. But for me, Flip has the best cross-listing. That's just a personal opinion. I love how their cross-listing is all done on their website and it doesn't open up new tabs for each resale site that you're cross-listing onto. Especially having an older computer, it really just slows things down for me to have a ton of tabs open. So I use Flip, it's very, very user-friendly and I love it for cross-listing. So I just go in, click on that item that I just listed on Poshmark and then it will show up here. And then pretty much you can just cross list over to any site. So I really only religiously cross list over onto eBay. And what I like is that it auto populates things. It's all, you know, on this website right here. It doesn't take me onto eBay, which is I think really just super nice. So category, clothing, women's clothing. We're gonna go pants. Size is size 27. The type, pants, size type, it's 27 regular. The style is ankle pants, apartment, women, and then the condition is pre-owned. So it's pretty much a majority of what you need to fill out on this form for eBay. I like to do flat rate shipping and two day handling time. For eBay, I pretty much ship everything ground. Sometimes I'll do priority mail, but most things I just do USPS ground. I do accept returns. And then for shipping costs, I pretty much just estimate it. I'll either do $5.99, $6.99, $7.99, or $8.99 is like pretty much my max. So for these, I think I'm gonna say $6.99. If I have to pay a little bit, it's completely fine. It usually doesn't end up being more than like a dollar, maybe two max that I have to pay. So this should cover it, I would assume. Since these are a pair of corduroy pants and they're a tiny bit on the heavier side, I'm guessing they'll be around one pound and one ounce. Now I always for eBay weigh everything before I ship it. So once this does sell, I will then go in, take my scale out, weigh the item in the packaging and get an exact weight so that I am you know, shipping it correctly and I don't get charged later. But for now, I just estimate. I don't put in any package dimensions at the time of listing. Again, that's something I put in when I sell the item and before I purchase the label. And then I do allow offers. So I'm just gonna hit this toggle, allow best offer and hit list. So that is a really quick process. I obviously kind of was talking through it and. I don't know if you thought that was quick or not, but when I'm in the zone, it is so quick to cross-list from Flip. So I love using Flip for cross-listing. So then I usually will just go check the listing, see it all looks fine. And there it is over on eBay. All right, so let's do another item over on Poshmark. And we'll do this folklore Taylor Swift crew neck. So this one is from my personal closet. 
and I really don't ever wear it, so I figured it was time to sell it. But again, I'm going back over to my spreadsheet to copy the title, put the title in. It's the In the Trees Pullover Crew Neck Sweatshirt, color beige, size medium. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I usually will kind of just put the style name in quotations like that. I do actually in the title, if I have room, like to say women's and then the size. I think that's something people often will Google. It just, I think, can help SEO. So I usually will do that. All right, so it's a crew neck. It's pullover. It's the uh, folklore album graphic. And then this one actually has the, oh, I cannot read that at all. So, <laughs> yeah, super cannot read that. But I'm just going to go ahead and once again take this out and add it in later if I'd like to. All right, and then the measurements for this are armpit to armpit is 21 and a half. And the shoulder hem is 25. So I, let's see, if it were, I guess this is an oversized fit a little bit since it's a 21 inch measurement for a medium. Typically a women's medium is around 18 inches. So that's another thing I can add in, oversized fit. The condition is in good pre-owned condition, but I am going to say that it has some light pilling throughout. And then let's see, I had taken a picture. There's a small stain right here. So I'm also going to call that out. And then once I disclose any flaws, I like to say, see all photos just to cover my bases. So in good pre owned condition, light tone throughout, light stain on front, see all photos. So this is a women's top sweatshirts and hoodies, size medium, the brand is Taylor Swift, color beige overnight cream, and let's see what the comps are looking like for this. So back over onto Poshmark, I'm just gonna look this up, see, oh wow, okay, so, Two listed, I mean, I'm not that surprised. The Folklore cardigan sold for a few hundred dollars when I listed that, so I'm not too surprised to see that. Wow, these are really good comps. So it sold 67, 80, 58, new with tags, 188. Um, I do want to keep in mind that mine has, you know, some light signs of wear, the little stain on it. So I probably won't price it too high. Um, okay, let's see. I think I'll price mine at 75 and then take offers from there. Especially because this is something that, you know, was just from my personal closet. So it's profit in the end there. All right, 75. And a list, and then I'll go over here to the spreadsheet. 9424, we'll set it at 75. Cool, cool. All right, so now that's on Poshmark. I'm gonna come back to flip, go to my items, and import from Poshmark. And again, just click on that. So if I filled out this universal form, it would kind of auto-populate into all the other forms, but I do still think it kind of has specific 
things that it needs for each platform. So I do just like to click on the eBay form and just fill out specifics from here. So this is a women's clothing and I tops. I think, I don't even know if the tops has, yeah, see this one doesn't have sweatshirt. I think sweatshirts on eBay are usually under active wear, which this isn't really active wear, but it is a sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it under that. And then I can do pullover, size is regular, size type is regular, department women, size was it a medium yes and the condition is pre-owned again shipping type flat handling time two days usps ground 30-day return policy shipping cost for this i'm gonna go ahead and do 6.99 again it's probably a little under a pound to 15 ounces and then allow offers. All right, so those are the two listed, pretty quick and easy from Poshmark over onto eBay. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, just quickly list one more. Let's do this North Face Fuzzy Fleece Jacket. Let me know if you guys have a similar process, if it's very different, if you, you know, photograph and immediately upload and list as you go, if you photograph everything and then batch draft, I would be very curious to hear. I would also love to hear if you resell part-time, if you resell full-time, if you just sell your own clothes. I really love to hear from you guys personal, like where you're at and what you do and Sometimes I do just feel like I'm talking to the camera and I love when you guys actually like comment and tell me about your um, experiences. So please feel free to comment down below and let me know what reselling is for you or if you just sell your own stuff, if you thrift and flip stuff, like what your whole thing is. So back to the spreadsheet, North Face Fuzzy Fleece Jacket. I need to get like a dog camera so you guys can see Nellie because she's so cute right now and I wish I could show you but she is the comfiest <laughs> she could probably be right now. The North Face Fuzzy Fleece Jacket, red, pink, small. And then again I'm going to put in women's size small. can also do outdoor or winter or what else can I do? Um, I, I mean, I could do things like hiking or more specific activities. I think I'm just gonna do outdoor and, and I'll do winter, even though we are coming up on fall, but I think it's definitely a warm, cozy jacket. I'm just gonna put winter. All right, and then this is a full zip. It has Zipper hand pockets. Again, I took a picture of, oh wait, I can see it here. 100% polyester. The armpit to armpit for this is 16 inches. Shoulder hem is 24 inches. And this is in good pre-owned condition. Hmm. What if this, I don't know if this would be considered a teddy jacket. I don't think this is a teddy jacket. And then none of these are really, uh... hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna put none, no subcategory for that. The size was size small, brand is North Face. And then let's see for price. Back over to Poshmark to look at some 
comparable sold comps. So these are the listed prices and then going over to sold. So 18, 23, 17, 21. So I'll probably list mine right around 30. And then expect 20 to 25 or so. All right, list. And then back over to the spreadsheet. Mark it as listed, $9,424, $30, and go ahead and put all those in order. So all these green ones are sold, all the items that have sold this year. All right, and then back over to Flip, import it from Poshmark. Go to the eBay form, does auto populate. All of that top part has the description in there. So category, it'll be clothing, women, women's clothing, coats, jackets, and vests. The type is a jacket, size small. Outer shell, the outer shell material, polyester. Style is, we're going to just say basic jacket. Size type regular, department, women, condition, pre-owned. Flat shipping, two business days, USPS ground, 30 day returns, accepted. Shipping costs, again, I think I'm going to do $6.99 for this one. And then I would guess it's probably about a pound. But again, I will make sure to put an exact weight once I sell it and weigh it. And then allow best offer and list. But that is my process of listing on Poshmark and then cross-listing over onto eBay. Hopefully you found this video helpful and thank you for listing with me. I will definitely do another one of these at some point. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a very good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.